Hello everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to be doing another no cap video, this time on pirated videos. Hello my friends and welcome back to another video today. This is going to be another part of the no cap series where I actually take off my hat, let my hair down, and talk about something that is on my mind, right? Kind of like uh, a Craig Petty rant video, just without all of the ranting and stuff like that. Because as Craig has even said, rant and Michael O'Brien's name do not really go together. I try to be so positive on this channel and not complain too much about stuff. Um, but every once in a while, something comes across uh, my news feed and I just feel like I have to address it. And in today's video, we are gonna be addressing pirated downloads. Now, before I do that, just a couple of announcements. If you have not already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you guys know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to support the channel for just $1 a month, be sure to click the join button and become a member. Members will get access to a bunch of really cool stuff, including full on video tutorials, early access to all of these videos. So you guys don't have to wait. Emojis, badges, and even discounts in O'Brien Magic Shop. All of that for just $1 a month. And on top of that, you get to be part of this really cool community and we are gonna have a lot of fun, right? Thank you so much to all of my members, all of my subscribers, and all of you guys uh, who are watching these videos. It is because of you I am able to keep this channel going. So let's talk now about pirated downloads. Uh, I saw someone post on Facebook not too long ago. They said, hey, I'm really trying to get my hands on this thing, right? And uh, I saw this thing available as a download and I'm not really able to see anywhere that it's truly available as a download only product. Is it ethical for me to buy this, right? Or maybe I really want to learn this trick, but it's only available as a DVD and I don't own a DVD player or anything that will play a DVD. Um, so can I buy this as a download only instead, right? Uh, or another popular one is I see this download available for like really cheap. Like I'm noticing that this download is like a $20 download on most magic websites, but it's like a dollar 50 on this other magic website. Can I buy it there? And is that ethical and blah, blah, blah. Right? So the answer to all of those questions is if the original creator does not have it available as a download and you're purchasing it as a download, 99.9% .9 of the time you are illegally purchasing it from somewhere and the original creator is not seeing a penny of that money. So yes, it's unethical to do that. You want to make sure that you're supporting your content creators, right? So if I am looking, here's another perfect example. Craig Petty uh, just came out with Visible, right? Which is his handling of the invisible deck, right? And you buy this little bundle deal. It comes with a tutorial. It teaches like 12 routines on it. And you get uh, the invisible deck. You actually get two. You get a red deck and a blue deck with it. Uh, and it's all packaged up really nicely and everything like that. And a lot of people are saying, man, I really wish that this was like a download only kind of thing. I don't want to spend 30 quid on getting these invisible decks and stuff. I already have invisible deck at home. I just want the download, right? So a lot of people are saying like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Here, hit me up, email me or whatever, and I'll I'll shoot you a private message with the link to the tutorial so you can just watch them, right? And that person is like, yeah, I already bought it. I should be able to show it to whoever I want, right? But here's the thing. The other person didn't buy it. So you can't share or even worse, sell a download to someone else that isn't your download, right? So let's just say uh, I bought this deck of cards, right? And I bought this deck of cards and it's a gimmicked deck of cards and I tried it out and it just isn't for me. So I go on like a surplus magic exchange group or uh, some website or Craigslist or whatever website to sell this uh, because I don't want this deck anymore and it just isn't for me. So someone else buys it and I give them the deck and now they own the deck and that's it, right? Technically in that transaction, the original creator wasn't part of the transaction, but that's not terrible. I think that, that something like that is okay. And the reason is, is because the ownership changed from one person to another person. So now I don't own the thing anymore. I don't physically have the thing anymore. I can't perform it anymore. 
the other person owns it now, right? Now, when you do that same thing with like a download where someone else buys a download from you or um, maybe they ask to borrow the link so they can like watch the videos and stuff, that's a different situation because now in that situation, I still own the download and now another person owns the download. So an extra person now owns the download that the original creator is not seeing a penny from, right? So you're essentially taking money away from the creator by doing this. Um, now, there are a lot of knockoff websites out there. I'm not going to start listing the names of the sites on here because I don't want to platform them. I don't want people to watch this video and they go, wait a minute, those websites exist and then start like searching the names of the websites that I, <laughs> that I just mentioned. Um, but for example, my product are on a ton of magic websites all over the world and very few of them are official sponsored websites, right? Like Penguin Magic, um, Theory 11, uh, Vanishing Ink, like those kinds of websites, Murphy's Magic, those kinds of websites or official retailers that have purchased through Murphy's that have the license to be able to sell my product, um, they're allowed to sell those things. Other websites that found my product and just ripped it off and are selling the download and making money and not sending me any of the royalties or did so without my permission are doing so immorally, right? I don't want to say illegally because a lot of these companies are doing so from other countries and I don't really have any legal ground to even go after them because they're not in our own country. Um, but it definitely isn't ethical. So how do we stop that from happening? It is up to you, the consumer, to decide, you know what? Yeah, I could get this download for $1.50 if I go on this website and download it, but I'm not going to do that because I know that I'm paying someone else who literally stole the product from this person instead of just supporting the, the creator themselves, right? Whenever possible, I recommend purchasing from the creator directly, or if you're not able to do that, uh, purchase from a retailer that you know and trust that is a certified retailer, right? Like you got Prop Dog, or you got a World Magic Shop, um, or you have like Murphy's or Penguin or Theory 11, Illusionist, Vanishing Ink. Like these are all real reputable companies, right? Saturn Magic, like it doesn't matter. Companies that are real companies that are purchasing wholesale magic and retailing it. That's who you wanna purchase from. You wanna purchase from the creator directly or you wanna purchase from retailers. Do not purchase from these websites that are selling ripped off product, a product that was stolen from someone else because now the creator is getting 0% of it, right? I would rather you buy from the creator directly. Like for me, for example, purchase from O'Brien Magic Shop whenever possible because I maximize the amount of money that I make off of it. If you purchase through a Murphy's or through Penguin or something like that, that's completely fine because I'm still getting paid for it. But Murphy's and Penguin and Theory 11 and Vanishing Ink, they're getting their cut as well. So I make a little bit less money off of each transaction, but at least I'm still getting paid for it, right? And I have given these magic companies permission to do this. If you purchase it from some website that's stolen my product that I didn't give permission to, and they're not paying me for my product and you're paying $1.50 to that person, and I see $0 out of it, you're essentially stealing from me. So. Moral of the story is do your due diligence, do your research. If it's not available as a download, reach out to the original creator. Maybe they can work something out. Maybe they can sell you like a PDF or like a downloadable version of it. Maybe they can just send you the, the, the file so that you can watch it on your computer at least. Maybe they can Dropbox you the file or something. But don't torrent it and don't purchase it from someone else and don't borrow the download code or any of that stuff, because it really sucks. Like you're really stealing from the content creator. So that's my no cap on pirated material. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that you took this to heart. So question of the day is what can we do to help curb this issue with pirated magic? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. 
you'd like to check out some more magic, visit us at obrienmagic.com and be sure to check out our online magic shop where you will find the latest and greatest magic books, downloads, and accessories.